Hey guys, it's Virginia and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today's video I think is my last back to school video. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is my last back to school video and it is going to be a what's in my backpack. So let's get started. Here is my backpack. It's a Jansport backpack. I got this from Target like Christmas of my 8th grade year and I'm a junior so I've had this for a while. It's pretty dirty and it's getting like pretty used like there's holes in the bottom of it like not that big but from like corners of books you know so I have another backpack that I might end up using like switching to in the middle of the school year but this is what I have for now and I just really like it I like this like blue color a lot and I'm just a very colorful person as you can tell by my background but yeah let's get started on the side there's a water bottle pocket and usually I have a water bottle in there that like I get from the cafeteria for lunch but obviously I'm not at school today so I didn't get one. In this front pocket right here, um, I think there's one thing in it. I don't really use this just because it has a weird opening but I think there's like a, yeah, a snack bar, a chewy bar in here. Next there's a pocket here. Bear with me but this pocket has just a few like smaller organizational pockets in here. The first thing I have is just this little bag and it just has some feminine products. I also have this little note card holder. This is from Staples and I have some note cards in here. I use them to memorize the presidents because I'm taking a push this year. So if you're taking AP US History, let me know in the comments. <gasps> oh my gosh, I was wondering where this went. Apparently I had a brush in here. This isn't supposed to be in here. I really don't know how that got in there but I'm glad I found it. It's only been three weeks into the school year and I already don't know like what is in my backpack. In this pocket right here I have some reinforcement stickers. I also have some little staples. They're mint green because I have a little miniature mint green stapler but I'll show you that later and then in this pocket I have nothing. <laughs> I have some more packs of note cards because I really like using these to study. In this back pocket I just have a ruler and some wooden pencils. I need to sharpen these because like if people ask for pencils and I know they're not going to give me them back, I can just give them a wooden pencil. And then I have this little mini stapler. I think I got this from Office Depot last year and it came with like these little staples. And this is really handy because you don't have to wait for the entire class to pass around the stapler. Yeah. Before I get into the big pocket, I have a small pocket right here. In here, the first thing I have is this little brush mirror thing. I've talked about this before and I really like this for school because I can like brush my hair in the car on the way there and like do my hair in the car and it's just these are really great to have. I got this for like a buck at Dollar Tree or something like that. I have a hair elastic and a rollerball perfume. I have a baby lips. This is 140 pink quartz. I have a pocket bag and this is poolside punch. I have some bobby pins, a lip balm, and a penny. You know, want to make sure you always have some money with you at school in case you forget your lunch money. Next, moving on to the biggest pocket, which is where pretty much everything is. The first thing I have is whatever current book I'm reading in English. This is actually, this is The Illustrated Man by Ray Bradbury. This is actually the best book I've ever read for school. I recommend reading this for fun. It's a series of short stories. Some of them are like pretty intense and scary, but it's all set in the future and a lot of it has to do with like technology, but it's a pretty cool book. I recommend you read it. Next I have my calculator, which I just have a little calculator case for and it like matches the color of my book bag. Like, isn't that great? I just have the Texas Instruments 84 CE, like the colored one. Obviously it's pink. You know, got that algebra two, learning them life skills. Then I have my planner and I actually use the one that the school gives us um, just because I like to keep YouTube and school separate. But I will show you how I organize my homework in my planner because I've been using this system for since freshman year and I love it. So yeah. So this is how I organize my planner. So as you can see, it's kind of pretty colorful. I think it looks cute. I have a post-it note that has like today on it so I can just always find the day 
or the week in this case and also have like my schedule and room numbers so at the beginning of the week i like to write out all of my classes i have a specific pen color for each class it usually corresponds to the binder color i write each of my classes in order starting with the first class of the day so on mondays my first class is english so i just write down everything that comes after that and on tuesday my first class is a push so i start with a push and write all the classes down after that and so on so it's not like the same every single day it just starts with whatever class i have first i put a little circle next to the classes that i have the next day and when i'm done with them i fill in that circle as you can see here even though i didn't really have any homework i just like to write down stuff and cross it out to make it look like i have more things done than i really do this system has really helped me stay organized and it makes my agenda look nice so here's the first week of school as you can see i had a lot of homework but it's just look at all like the nice colors and lines crossed out and it just looks so organized and it really helps me out and next in here i have my pencil bag and my friend joseph gave this to me and this also matches in color like i just have my life together don't i that's a total lie but it's just like a little like graph pattern and it has a cat on it and it's extremely cute so i will show you what's inside of that on this pocket on the front i just had some sticky notes these are just some post-it notes so on this side there's this kind of mesh pocket and i keep most of my colored pens these are all the pens that i use and my planner there are two pockets back here and in this pocket i like to keep all of like my big extra sparkle pencils in this pocket i keep my highlighters i think these are also big and on this pocket i have just like other things i have two of these kinds of pencils these pencils are 0.7 lead and these pencils are 0.5 lead and i have a bunch of 0.5 lead that i need to use up but i just like using these for math and science i don't know why i just really like using the finer lead and pencils for math and science i have a red pen a black pen a uniball pen i found one of these papermate flare pens on the floor last year and so i still use it for like annotations and just notes sometimes i also have this blue little marker thing that i sometimes use when like annotating along with this thing which is like a paint pen i'm not actually really sure but i also use that for annotations sometimes and there's a zipper pocket on the back. So in here, I just have some papers. This is like my schedule the first week. I have some lead, this is 0.5 lead. I have a polymer eraser, which I haven't actually used. I have a Blistex, and I have some extra erasers for my pencils. So that is all that is in my pencil bag. Next, I just have this folder, and this is just like my anything folder for like anything that I need to give to like my advisor. Now obviously I don't keep all of my binders and books in my bag all the time. I actually do use my locker but for the sake of this video I'm just going to show you all of my binders and how I organize them. So my English binder is just a one inch binder because my teacher doesn't print out a lot of papers and I have a pocket here. I bought like a 10 pack of these like in seventh grade and I still have some and, and I still use them a lot and it's just a little like folder that has a pocket here a pocket here and then a full page pocket there and i use these a lot i have a notebook for notes i have loose leaf paper then i have five dividers the first one is for homework the second one is for classwork the third one is for handouts the fourth one is for writing and the last one is for quizzes and tests so that is how i organize my english binder I have a purple binder for theology. So I also have a one inch binder for theology too. Here, this one is different. It has just a single pocket here. I have the same pocket thing. Another notebook for notes, of course. Some more college ruled loose leaf paper. Then five more tabs. One for homework, classwork, handouts, writing, and quizzes and tests. And that is all for my theology binder. Next is green for biology because like earth, biology, green. My biology binder is a one and a half inch binder. In here I have that other folder, another one of these portable folder things, a notebook for notes, some more loose leaf paper. This binder is a little bit different and I have eight dividers for the eight units. So that is all for biology. Next is blue for algebra two. Hey, that rhymed. 
I've just always done blue for my math glasses, so I kept the trend going. For Algebra 2, I also have a one and a half inch binder. In this pocket, I have a patty paper por portfolio, which is just something with graphs. It's kind of hard to explain. I have another one of these, a notebook for notes, although I don't know how much I'm going to be using it because we are using graph paper a lot this year. Some graph paper. I also have some loose leaf paper. And then for the five tabs, I have notes because we're taking a lot of notes on graph paper. Second, I have homework, then classwork, then quizzes and tests. And that is all for Algebra 2. And lastly, for my AP US History binder, I just have this fun printed one. For A Push, I have a two inch binder. There's a pocket here, another one of these pocket things. My notebook for notes. I've been taking some really pretty notes this year and I'm very proud of myself. Some loose leaf paper. For the five tabs here, I have the textbook because my teacher actually writes our textbook for us. Then classwork, handouts, homework, and quizzes, tests, and writing. So that is all for my A push binder. Then there is also a small back pocket back here that has a laptop case in there. I haven't taken my laptop to school yet, but if I do, of course I will put it in the laptop sleeve. So uh, that is all for what is in my backpack at the beginning of the year for the 2017-2018 school year. I think I want to do one of these videos at the end of the school year because I've seen some people do that and they just like have so much random stuff in there. Although to be honest, I try and keep my backpack pretty organized and I hate like stray papers in my backpack. So we'll see. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you out with any organization ideas for your binder or your planner. And if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up and comment down below your thoughts and any video requests you have for me. I need some fall video ideas because those videos are coming up pretty soon. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more from me and to 7 Days in the USA because I post there every Sunday along with six other girls who post on every other day of the week. And yeah, that's all I have to say. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>